Oh, which one? Hmm?
Dames en heren, familie, vrienden, ook die buiten staan. Um, vanwege de COVID-maatregelen zijn er 50 mensen in de kapel toegestaan. U krijgt zo dadelijk allemaal de gelegenheid om nog afscheid van Maidon te nemen. Na de dienst is iedereen in de gelegenheid om nog een allerlaatste groet aan Maidon te brengen. Dus om, wanneer de dienst voorbij is, krijgt iedereen mag dan naar binnen toe om nog afscheid te nemen. Dus de dienst zal met 50 mensen plaatsvinden en de overige mensen die allemaal afscheid komen nemen van Myron, mogen ze dadelijk afscheid nemen. Als u zich verhaal even via Arthur, loop even mee. Alleen je hebt er nog drie in de
Een hele goede middag, dames en heren. We willen de dienst beginnen. Ik wil ten eerste iedereen welkom heten bij de begrafenisdienst van onze lieve broeder, vriend en zoon, mijn rol, Nana Kofi Ampofo Ano. We zullen het dienst beginnen. En voordat ik het dienst begin, roep om het dienst officieel te openen, wil ik het taal ook in het gaan eens vertellen, zodat de ouderen die hier ook bij eens zijn, ook zullen begrijpen. Praise the Lord. Halleluja. Ja, maar moet je naar een we hebben die Jezus Christus niet En Sanna, ik ben zeg, als zo'n nasen. Je bent vrij, je mami, profetis, messi, edu. Na, papa, beti, je nim, na, Yashe Osumu Ase. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we all hands with you on our feet? Na watu nyakupo Akuwa mose yo Na epa mani yo Yeah. 
de pastorate of de minister um, waar hij op kerk zat, de kerkleden van de kerk van uh, de ouders van Myron, Bebia Myron, ne papa en ne mami, asoria omosumbu, anase where Myron worship, eye, or also ne pasta, en ne anasori peni for so so ewaha. Sorry, no, yeah, or down, no, a yeah. Reverend Jerry Aid, any prophetess, Messi Aid. Omona, Omoshe, you may deal, say, Bibia, Eboko, Wano, Wano, Amen. We also have the Deputy Ambassador of Ghana to the Netherlands in our midst, um, in the person of Mr. Idris Habib. 
Uh, please, may I humbly see your hands if uh, our... Okay, okay, I can see. Daddy, you are welcome. Dank je wel, dat is de ambassadeur van Ghanese ambassadeur, die net zijn vinger opstapt. Um, I would also like to introduce the chairman for this um, gathering, the person of Mr. Kweju Amwa. Please, is Mr. Kweju Amwa here now, please? Okay, that you are also welcome. Um, I'm Sana Ebet Wajimeke in the summer. It was our friend, um, the prophet is Adrian. Na what we give him, naya to him. Bless you, our brother. We shall take our second hymn. Abide with me. And I would like to invite Prophet His Mercy Adrian to lead us in this session. Please 
stand with you on that answer. We are here for this person, we are here to respect. Abide with me fast, fast, false the evening time. Ready, go. Abide with me fast. Yeah. 
Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 or say, He will wipe every tears from their eyes. Everybody saw the people here when you saw them. There will be no more death when we meet him. There will be no mourning or crying or pain when we meet our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, when the Sophie was so sick, that's Yeshua Jesus Christ. sister is on her way coming um, our sister Bridget Amwa if you are here kindly get ready so that when it's your, when your time is to you you have to start with you. yeah so I will ask for this person to be ready to come to the lesson you have to come to the lesson you and ye near my room, Nana and Puffo and no, Nebu, Abba Passem. As I see so by a bra of a boy, the more seminar, yet a bar making kind of summer. A making kind of one seminar. It be kind, it's ye, I can kind of summer a future of Hong Kong, nay a fray, yes, a merry set ya, so over her, would you have? Now, I think I'm proud of Yes, that's it. For the reading of the biography of our dear brother, we humbly want to ask Bridget Amwa also to get ready. Yes. Yes, please, you may Sorry. 
he saw it right through. Right through. And him that sat on it. Sorry. And I saw the great sorry, I'm sorry. And I saw the great white throne and the one sitting on it. The head and sky flee from his presence, but they found no place to hide. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne, and the books were open, including the books of life, and the dead were judged according to what they had done. As recorded in the books, the sea gave up its death, and death and the grave gave up their dead, and all their judge according to their deeds. Then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. This lake of fire is the second death. And anyone whose name was not found recorded in the books of life was thrown into the lake of fire. God bless the vision of his word. Thank you very much and God bless you, Sister Mary. At this time, we shall listen to the biography of our brother and our son, Mary. I would like to invite Bridget Amor to come and read it for us. was born on the 2nd of January, 2004, in Accra, Ghana, to Samuel and Gifty Aden. He was the first child God blessed the parents with after many years of marriage and also the first grandson to his grandparents. From infancy, he was a child full of love and he always had a catchy love and never frowned. Marlon started his nursery education at Trinity Nursery School in Dalsiman, Accra, and he came to the Netherlands when he was three years old and attended his primary school at the Gerd van Wick School in Den Haag. After again, Gerd van Wick School, he continued his high school at the Zuid West College in Den Haag. Upon completion of his high school, he furthered his, his education at Broch Land in Lech Man. Sorry, I can't, I can't say those words where he was pursuing marketing and communication until his sudden departure. Marvin was loved everywhere he went. As his parents were Christians, they did well in bringing him up in the Christian way. He was very active at the Sunday school and other church activities to the glory of his maker. He loved children and his passion for children was very admirable. The greatest gift you can give a child is the roots of responsibility and the wings of independence which was given to Myron by his parents. So with all the confidence, the parents think their son is now resting in peace in the bosom of the Almighty. Myron loved his two siblings to the moon and back. He always balanced his instincts with a consideration of what will benefit society as a whole. With Myron gone, we will be missing an essential ingredient to make us the humanity. Growing up as a teenager, he never played with his hairstyle. He always goes to the salon every two weeks and will spend several minutes styling his hair before he goes out every day. And he had a great sense of fashion. He was a computer wizard and he loved gadgets just like his father. He spent most of his free time behind his laptop or his phone. Marvin passed on to glory on the 6th of May, 2021. As Christians, we are consoled by the word of God in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 5, that as you cannot know the path of the wind, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. We are confident that Marvin is at peace and at a better place and resting in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we ask God, why are you taking us through troubled waters? 
and he'll reply, because your enemies can't swim. Rest in peace. Rest in perfect peace, my room. You will be forever in our hearts. Amen. Amen. When peace lies
Not only church was very quiet, gentle, but very friendly to everyone, both the young and the old. He accepted Christ and subsequently went through water baptism as the scriptures required. He has been a good and lovely and very committed until his sudden demise. Myron and Papano, your death to great loss to the whole Terrifant Chapel, Chapel International. And we will forever miss you. We never expected you to leave us so soon. But God, your creator, needed you most. We are sure and confident that when the trumpet sounds, we shall meet again. Myron, Jeremy Fedby, Jenny Amanu, Fedby World. Youth, I would like to read first Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 and 14. And it says, But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. Amen. Amen. With pain and with tears, we've lost our brother, my own Nana Kofi Antufo, our brother and our friend. He was a very gentle, quiet young man who knew when to speak and when to hold his peace. His care for people was amazing. My own was a true example of what the Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 12. And it says, My command is this, love each other as I loved you. And this is God speaking to us. He loved everybody from young to old, especially the babies to the younger ones. After church, he was always the first one to be at the children's department to have some good times with the kids. My mom was an active member of the youth, being part during youth meeting, youth programs, and after church, our powerful youth prayers. We enjoyed being in his presence and doing all the work he had done. There was always a smile on his face. We will always remember Myron as our younger brother and as our friend. I always remember his care for people and we will always keep him in our hearts. We as youth from Triumphal Bible Chapel International will continue and stand for Myron Nana Kofi Ampofo and for his family and continue to pray for his soul and of course to pray for his family. And as God tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, Verse 18, and everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We give our glory to God. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much, our brother Brown. At this time, um, the father of our dear brother, our son, and our good friend, 
Myron have something that he want to present. Right, do you know Myron, Papa? Say, oh, I did there. I done a comma swap. Because I done the dictionary. Nemba tofu. Brian, Jan, it's really quite proper. Tino, Sam Brian, Matron, Safre, Myron, Papa. Na Papa, Papa, we start in church. Praise the Lord. Myron was given to us by God. Ever since we have him, he has been a blessing to us. He showed us love and he also showed him love. But at a certain point in time, I think uh, the Lord needed him much more than we do. That is why he took me. There is an English proverb that says that if God wants to mold you, he has to melt you first. So I believe Myron was in the process, the melting process. But God decided to st stop the melting process because he needed him. And he would like Myron to continue his melting process in heaven where he will be transformed into an angel. So in everything, we give thanks to the Lord. A while ago, I wrote a law about effect and importance. And until this case happened, that is where I felt the impact of the law on myself. And the law, that stage that the effect or importance of an event to a subject is inversely proportional to the proximity of that event to the subject. It simply means that when something happens, the closer you are to the person, the more effect you have. So I felt this very huge on me. It was running on me that at, uh, at least now, the law that I wrote, it has related actually to me. Mm -hmm. In that view, I would like to dedicate this law to so. Myron. So I named Myron's Law of Effect or Importance. Mm -hmm. That's what is there. Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. And in everything, all what I will say is that May his will be done and it is well. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Sami. I have begrepen that the light is the light of my own book, it's the light of 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 the light
Dankie jullie wel. Um, ek sal biografie ook in het Nederlands lees, zodat so zij die niet hebben begrepen de Engelse zullen begrijpen. Met is een met een kijk, maar dat was het zo dat je naar de man om ons in te meer te zien en zo uit te zien. Maar om na na of je amper weer geboren op 2 januari 2004 in Accra, Ghana, als zoon van Amok en Gifti Eve. Hij was het eerste kind waarmee God de ouders zegende na vele jaren van huur. En ook de eerste kleine zoon van zijn grootste ouders. Van kind af, van kind af aan, was hij een kind vol met liefde. Hij lachte altijd en was nooit boos. Myron begint zijn kleutersopleiding bij Trinity Nursery in Dansomai, Accra, Ghana. Hij kwam naar Nederland toen hij drie jaar was en zat op basisschool van de Gerd van Wijk School in Den Haag. Na de Gerd van Wijk School vervolgde hij zijn middelbare school aan de Zuidwest Hogeschool in Den Haag. Na het afronden van zijn middelbare school vervolgde hij zijn opleiding bij MBO Rijnland in Leijsendam waar marketing en communicatie, waar hij marketing en communicatie volgde tot zijn plotseling vertrek. Myron was overal geliefd, omdat, omdat zijn ouders christenen waren, deden ze, deden ze goed aan om hem op christelijke manier op te voeden. Hij was zeer actief op de zondagsschool en andere kerkactiviteiten tot eer van zijn maken. Hij hield van kinderen en zijn passie voor kinderen was bewonder, bewonderenwaardig. Het grootste geschenk dat je een kind kunt geven zijn de wortels van verantwoordelijkheid en de vleugels van onafhankelijkheid die Myron door zijn ouders heeft gekregen. Dus met alle vertrouwen denken de ouders dat hun zoon nu in vrede rust in de bozem van de Allemachtig is. Amen. Amen. Myron hield van zijn twee broers en zussen naar een maan en weer terug. Hij bracht zijn. Hij bracht zijn Instincten altijd in evenwicht met een overweging van wat samenleven als geheel ten goede zal komen. Nu Marion weg is, missen we hem essentieel ingrediënten in het recept van de mensheid. Toen hij opgroeide als tiener, speelde hij nooit met zijn haarstelling. Hij gaat om de twee weken naar de salon en besteedde dan enkele minuten aan de stijlen van zijn haar voordat hij elke dag uitgaat. Hij had een groot gevoel voor mode en hij, hij, hij wilde altijd een zakenman worden. Hij was een computer over, tovenaar. Hij hield net als zijn vader van uh, voetbal. Hij brengt het grootste deel van zijn vrije tijd door achter zijn laptop of zijn telefoon natuurlijk. Mij nog in, in glorie na de hemel op 6 mei 2021. Als christenen worden we getroost door het woord van God in Prediger 11 vers 5. Dat zoals je de pak van de wind niet kent, je dus het werk van de wind niet kunt begrijpen, God de maker van alle dingen is. We zijn ervan overtuigd dat mij om in vrede en op een betere plaats en rust in de hemel is. We vroegen God waarom leidt hij ons door troebel water. Hij antwoordt omdat je vijanden niet kunnen zwemmen. Rust in de vermaakte vrede, Myron. U zult voor altijd in ons hart blijven. Amen. Hmm. Op dit moment is de tijd aangebroken om een kort woord van God te luisteren. Het woord die ons zal bemoedigen om verder te gaan in het leven. Je kan zien dat heel veel mensen gewoon totaal van innerlijk gebroken zijn van een incident die gebeurd is. Dus we hebben een woord nodig om onze ziel te bekrachtigen om verder te gaan in het leven. So at this time, uh, we are about to listen to the word of God. So I would like to invite... Um, the pastor, the head pastor of uh, Triumphant Church, 
the person of Pastor Jerry Aiden to come and give us the word of God. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To have a young man with a lot of potentials, believing that he's going to grow and do great things. Parents have invested in him and still investing. And then all of a sudden, death have laid his icy hands on him. So painful. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Like we heard from the tribute. And like the father said, God needed him most. And that is why he's called him home. I want to share some few thoughts with all of us. I am happy I'm seeing everybody here. The Bible makes us understand in the book of Romans 12, 15, that we should rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. And so it's right that we are here. And if the Bible goes ahead to say in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2, it says that it is better to be in the house of Funra than to go to parties. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read on, when you read the NLT version, it says that why? Because everyone will die. Mm. 
And he goes on to say that for the living to put their heart to it. Let me explain this a little bit. It is good, it is better to be in the house of Umra. Why? Than to be in the house of party. Now, in, 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 when we go to party, we rejoice. When we go to party, we dance. We forget some things. Hallelujah. But when you go to the funeral, the environment alone would cause you to ponder, will cause you to think about the life that God has given to you. As we are all gathered here, we, I am sure we are all pondering and thinking that someone has given us life. So the life you are living is not for you. It's been given to you. Amen. Amen. When you read further in the book of Hebrews chapter 9, verse number 27, it says, it's appointed unto everyone wants to die, and after that, judgment. And so the life that God has given to you, the way you will live it, it's so important, because one day you will give account of the, of the life that God has given to you. And death is an appointment. No matter how you go. Amen. My own had left unexpected. He never knew. We all never knew. The, the Thursday before his sudden demise, he was in church on Sunday before the Thursday. We all saw him. He was lively. Nothing would tell you that my own would be leaving so soon. Amen. But on Thursday, he's been called home. Same applies to all of us. In these times, when we gather like this, we have to talk to the living because my Lord has found his way. But those of us who are alive, we will also live one day. Whether you grow to 120 or you grow to 150, you will surely leave this earth. How are you going? Where are you going? How, what is the account? What account are you going to give? Let us consider this today and think of our lives and focus more on God and serve God and do the right thing. Let's do away with jealousy. Let's do away with hatred. Let's do away with unnecessary anger, fighting, things that are not important. And serve God and live right. If I don't know anything at all, I know my Lord gave his life to Christ. I, together with others, baptized me. So I know that if my Lord live his life well, when the trumpet sounds, we will see him again. He will rise. That gives us hope. Hallelujah. Amen. And I speak to all of us here, and let's give our lives to Christ. Let's, let's serve God. Let's do the right thing. Because one day, everybody, where my Lord is going, you will also go. But when you go, you will give account of what you came to do on this earth. So let's live our lives well. Let's give our lives to Christ. Let's be more focused on God. Let's do the will of God. So that when you live here, you'll be able to give a good account. And you have a, a good place to go. Hallelujah. Amen. To the period family, I want to say that this is very painful. But you did well for introducing my own to Christ. Or bringing him to church. There will be, a, there will, there will be no time you will see Mr. Anon and the wife without the children. Any time they come to church, the children follow us. And I'm happy for that. I want to say that the Holy Ghost strengthen you. May God help you. It is not easy to lose a loved one, not alone at a very young age like this. But I pray that God will feel the vacuum that his demise have created in your heart and in your life. I pray that God will help you. And whatever you have lost, may God replenish and give it back to you. I am praying that you will have long life. I am praying that nothing of this sort will happen in the family again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the rest of the children will grow and fulfill their years. Amen. And every investment you will make in them, may they grow so that you will reap it in Jesus' name. I pray for everybody here that we will give our lives to Christ. We will serve God 
and do his will. Amen. Amen. Can we bow down our heads shortly for a word of prayer? Help me sing this song. I thy grace are So I want to give you the opportunity to say this after me if you are here like that and you are not giving your life to Christ. I want you to say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for Jesus dying to save me. Today, I accept him as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart. Dwell with me. Lead me and direct me and help me to be established in your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will, before I take my seat, I want to use a, a, some few seconds to pray for the Erie family. So I would want all the family, the close family members, be on your feet. Father, mother, and those from Ghana and UK, and those here in the Netherlands. And then the rest of us, can we close our eyes? Let's pray for them. Let's ask God to be with them. God to strengthen them, God to help them. In this period, it is not easy. It is not easy. May God wipe away their tears. May God fill in the vacuum. And may God make them happy. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you and I bless you, O oh God, for the family, O oh God, that Marion is leaving. I am praying for them that you will wipe their tears. I am praying for them that your message will locate them. I am praying for them that you will protect them. I am praying for them that you will provide for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this kind of death will never repeat itself. No one out of the family will die before their time. Will die so early in the name of Jesus. We pray for long life for each and, each and every one of them. And we pray that let them look at you and know you. And let them serve you in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you praise. And I honor you for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you very much.
Kwana, my own Tiasia, not on Petro Pa. And you know, or say, Behold, I am the Lord, the Lord of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? So be be a me, a me, your nana. Sadly, we can have a free chance in our petro. And if I see a tomorrow, and some may cry, the chick cries. Behold, I am the Lord. May God bless our dear Pastor Jerry Aiden and our Mama Prophetess Mercy Aiden. At this time, um, a bit moment ago is um, the aankondiging good doen. Een belangrijke aankondiging is dat de morgen, morgen is zondag en de familie van onze geliefde zullen naar de kerk gaan om, de, om uh, God te bedanken. En de dankgevend dienst zal plaatsvinden bij New Life International Church. Dat adres is van Geijenstraat nummer 27 in Rijswijk. De dienst begint om 10 uur tot 1 uur. Dus als je tram 17 neemt van Hollandspoor, dan stap je uit bij Vormerlaan en dan zie je wel waar de kerk is. In januari had ik nog een sana. I will cry in the cheek, Rano, Nampesa, me, 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 Mamma, take us a week, a crap. Namia, to my, it's not question, uh, you ever call a sorry, Naya Papa, that Namia see, Thanksgiving service. Now, Thanksgiving service, no, you pay and New Life International Church at the Wolf and High Strat 27, a war rice like, who fat comes, a best as here, ten. O'clock, pepe, pepe, anopa. Now I'm up on one. Uh, over from 17. Free Holland score. We see your former land. We see your back. Uh, we said, and go for a sort of no way to go in it. Nah, on the one, go a sort of no walk. Trump, I know, amen. I say, 
Jullie moeten lopen, lopen. Lopen naar voren, lopen. Met de bloemen. Kom, ja.
Niet op dat ding mogen even hier op de deur zetten. Even hier naast. Oh, dat is goed. Heb je ruimte? Ja. Oké, okay, top. Okay. Gaan we ietsje verder door? Ik ga er achter staan. Ja, als je hem even Gaan we met het schip met die boven naar collega toe? Ja, nee, nee, nee. Hier hebben we de handgrepen pas, Nu wordt het even op kracht, dus hebben jullie het zelf even omhoog weer. Ja, nu naar voren, hè? Ja, een stukje draaien, dan kan hij zo erop. Omhoog. Omhoog, ja. Naar voren toe. Ja, dat is een rechtervoor. Rechtervoor, dus recht voor het graf. Ja, gebeuren. Jullie kunnen gewoon daar lopen. Ja, ja. heel zachtjes op hem. Hoog houden hier. Hoog houden. 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 Hoog I am the Lord, the Lord of all flesh. Is there anything? Is there anything to have for? Hallelujah, behold, I am the Lord. Is there anything to have for? Hallelujah! Is there anything, 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 oh, to have for me? Oh, is there anything? Is there anything? time with all due respect I would like to um, actually hand over to the pastor but before then um, we realized that the family members couldn't reach their tribute so um, the uncle of our dear Myron Anno is here with me right now and he would like to read it so I'll hand over the microphone to him too Son Myron, 
Tak musim asal di bawah Dia bersuap ke Amin Myron Dia ada foundation And the first Fuller generation Of our next generation of babies Myron You are equally the first Fuller generation of your dads And our family You are our hope Comfort her Our love and our pride of his family, of his family. I remember when you were first born and you were brought to the Suman to show the house and our home with so much joy and hope. I remember every second, the minutes and the hour we spent with you since childhood. So now and how we used to sleep whilst your aunties were feeding you on their laps. We will never forget you. We will never erase you from our lives because your memory will always be with us. You are gone, yet you haven't left us totally. Your memory remains forever. We love you so much, our son. Bless you, son and grandchild. God be with you as you rest in the bosom of the Almighty God. We will meet again, but in peace. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Pamela. I would like to hand over to the pastor. Shall we bow our heads with some food? Father, in your able hand, the O gracious God, we commend your servant Myron Nanakofi Ampopu Ano. Lord, we acknowledge, we ask that you acknowledge him as a sheep of your own fold, a lamp of your flock, and a precious soul who has been redeemed by your own blood. Receive him into your arms of mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of your saints above. Amen. Amen. We will continue with him. Take my life and let it be consecrated up to you. Amen. Take my life and let it be consecrated up to you. Take my moment and my days. Let Take my hands and let them move. Take, Take my hands hand and let at the impulse of thy love. At the impulse of thy Take my feet and let them be. My feet and let them sweet and beautiful for thee. Sweet and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let them sing. Take my voice and let always only for my king. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. Messages from thee. Take my silver and my gold. Take my silver and not a mind would I withhold. Would I take my intellect and use talent ever power as thou shalt choose? Shall choose, take my will and make it thine. Take my will and make it thine. It shall be no longer mine. It shall be no longer. Take my heart, it is thy own. It is that it shall be thy royal throne. Shall be thy royal throne. Amen. Is it possible to remind people in your context? Ha, 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 ha.
Let's hear the word of God. Job chapter 19, verse 25 to 26. But as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and he will stand upon the earth at last. And after my body has decayed, yet in my body I will see God. Amen. We continue with the hymn, When Peace Like a River. When peace like a river, let's go. When peace like a river attended man, when sorrow like sea, when sorrow like sea, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say. himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. We therefore encourage ourselves with these words. Amen. 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 All right, can I have the yes, yes, mm -hmm. My Lord, Kofi and Pofu Ano. We commit the mortal remains. Your mortal remains to the ground and to the dust. Mm -hmm. Knowing that. Your spirit and soul are saved in the arms of Jesus, our maker. From earth to earth. From dust to dust. And from ashes to ashes. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Can I have three family members do the same for me, please? Take a son and then just say from earth. so we do the presentation of the reefs. I don't know if somebody will opt to pick them and then you, you say whatever is on it, the name on it, and then you put it down. Maybe you have to let him say the name and then we mention the name. This is from brother and sister, Samata and Julian. We love you. Rest in peace, brother. Um, cool. Help me. Oh, just throw it up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what ik in mijn handen heb is van zijn collega's. Hij werkte bij Albert Heijn. En ik denk dat dit is de, de laatste liefde die.
guy on hammer the dome. Give it to them. Give it to them. When they give it to them, you may see them. This one is from Anno family. Rest in peace. My own. Okay. Um, what ik in mijn handen heb is van Rijland College, MBO. Uh, van de opleiding Economie. Dit is wat zij aan mij rond willen geven. This one is from Family Edu. Rest in peace, Myron. Till we meet again. So, this one, this is ook van klasgenoten van Myron. This one is also for a loved one. From loved ones. Um, ja, ook van een geliefde die aan uh, mij rond wil geven. Ook van een geliefde. Rust, zacht staat erop. En this one is also from the Triumphant Bible Chapel International Church Utrecht. Um, Pastor Edu and Prophetess Mercy Edu. Chosen generation in the youth of Triumphant. Yeah, Triumphant Chapel Bible International. This one is from Namisa, the family, from, from Myron. Uh, is that it? Okay, als iemand een bloem bij ze geeft, uh, ja, ook van een uh, geliefde, dan mag jij van mij erop leggen. Iedereen die een bloem bij ze geeft, mag je zelf van mij erop leggen. Ja, gooi maar op. Als je een bloem bij je hebt en je wil het geven, mag je voor mij erop gooien. Namens de familie van Meiron wil ik iedereen bedanken voor jullie aanwezigheid en de liefde die jullie hebben getoond is zo wonderbaarlijk en ik denk dat Meiron in de hemel is. Als hij zo naar ons kijkt, dan wordt hij zo blij. God richly bless each and every one who made it today to say goodbye to our dear brother, our son and a good friend. May the Almighty God richly bless all of you. I kindly want to remind each and every one that tomorrow, God willing, we shall have the Thanksgiving service at New Life International Church, starting from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. May God richly bless each and every one and kindly follow the same route that we use to walk at this place, to this place, use that same route to go outside. I would like to ask you to take the same route to take, go not on someone's grave, but go on the same route that you have taken to here to come here. And go, please, rest and safe to home. God bless you all for the love that you have shown. It is so wonderful. The family of Myron is so wonderful. Coffee Anon. Thank you very much for your time. 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 Thank you very much dat jullie deze liefde hebben getoond. Dames en heren, dank jullie wel. En dit is het eind van het dienst. Halleluja. Let's see our final prayer. And then we can leave. How we all close our eyes, please. Almighty God, Father of the whole family.